Hello everybody, my name is Owen from Bricks and Beyond and welcome back to a brand new Lego review. Today we are checking out the first of the Lego Harry Potter 20th anniversary sets that just came out on June 1st. This is the first one that I'm taking a look at on this video. I actually have a few of these sets. Um, I didn't pick up all of them, but I do have a few of them. And so I thought I'd just go ahead and get these reviews out as quickly as I possibly could. So the first one that we are taking a look at today is the 76386, the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion mistake this has 217 pieces and is for ages seven and up this does retail for $19.99 and I was able to find this at my local Target um, none of my Walmarts around me have any of the new Harry Potter sets so only Target is the only one that has these um, like I said Walmart does not have them at least in my local area it does not the Lego store probably does and of course you were able to find these on lego.com and probably any of your other local retailers around you so of course it does have the Lego Harry Potter 20 years down there and you can actually see this little gold line that is coming out of Harry's wand here is only on the 20th anniversary sets. If you get any of the other sets that just came out on the same line that are not 20th years, these lines will actually be blue and so that is a way that you can tell that this is a 20 year set along with this and also the gold figure that comes in the 20 year sets you do get four mini figures in here technically three with an extra gold figure you do get harry potter hermione granger and ron weasley all in slytherin robes and you do get the golden anniversary harry potter figure now if we take a look at the back of the box, you can see more of the set, some of the features. You do actually get two of the collectible wizard cards, um, which do come in the chocolate frogs in the Harry Potter movies. And if you go to like Universal or anything, you can get the cards that Ron collects and everything. So you do get two of those in this set, which I will show you guys. And you can see how there's actually some cool features with the minifigures in here. You can see how Harry is able to turn into Goyle and Ron is able to turn into Crab. And Hermione does have her cat head that you were able to put on and give her the cat look because she accidentally grabbed a piece of hair from a cat instead of who she wanted to turn into. And like I said, you can kind of see them drinking the polyjuice potions and kind of just their facial reactions and everything back here. But that is pretty much it for the box. I will go ahead and show you the minifigures. Okay, so our first minifigure that we have here is Harry Potter. Now you can see he does have the Slytherin robes on because they are turning into two members of the Slytherin house. And of course he does have his brown wand and he is holding a cup that is actually full of the Polyjuice Potion. Uh, the legs that he has are just the normal older short legs, the ones that aren't able to bend. Um, I know some of the other sets in the June 1st Harry Potter line actually do have the bendy legs. Actually, I'm working on building the Hogsmeade one and the Harry Potter that is included in that does have the bendy short legs, but this set does not. It just has the regular old short legs. There is no arm printing, but you can see there is some back of the torso printing with the hood of the robe. And of course, Harry does have his one head here. And if you take his hair off, you can see he does have the Goyle head on the back. And so that is one of the features of the set. You're able to turn that around. And then you can actually take the other hair piece that is included in the set. You actually get some extra hair pieces and everything. And there you go. You have the Goyle minifigure. So technically, I would say you do get six minifigures in this set, but they only label it as three just because it's different printed heads. But I would like to see it as you get six different minifigures. So you, you can either have Crab Goyle and Hermione with the cat head or you can have Harry Potter, Ron, and Hermione normally. But again, like I said, all you do, you just take the hair off, you are able to turn the head around, and there you go, you have Harry back. And that is pretty much it for Harry Potter. And our next figure is going to be Ron Weasley, which I love his face on this minifigure. I think the disgusted, grossed out face looks absolutely amazing. It is super duper funny. He does have the lighter brown wand. And again, just like Harry, he has a cup full of the Polyjuice Potion that he is drinking. It is the exact same legs and torso that Harry had, except of course, unlike Harry, he has Ron's face and the red hair, which you can kind of see there the molded piece looks very great it definitely looks like ron you can tell that of course this is ron but just like with harry you were able to take it off and he does have the goyle head on the back and so you are able to turn the head around just like that take the other 
extra hair piece that is included in the set. And there you go. You don't have Ron Weasley anymore. You actually have Goyle. You can basically just do whatever you want with it. And I think that is super duper nice. And I really enjoy that they gave you the feature to have either one of them like that. And so, yeah, that is pretty much it for Ron Weasley. Now, taking a look at our last non-golden minifigure, here we have Hermione Granger, which is honestly one of my favorite minifigures, if not my favorite minifigure in this set. She does have the lighter kind of tan wand and the exact same robes and torso that the other two minifigures did have. I love this cup that she is holding. You can see it's just a normal kind of clear cup, but it is colored kind of up to a certain point to look like it actually has some drink in it, which I think is super duper cool. So it is the bright neon green to like the polyjuice potion. And so if you take a look here, you can see her hair piece that she has here it looks absolutely amazing. I love the hair piece that they have given her. I don't know if that's a new hair piece or not, but I definitely love it. And it really does look like Emma Watson and Hermione Granger for sure. Um, she does have a double-sided head, even though she does not come with an extra hair piece technically to switch kind of characters or minifigures. She does have this more worried and scared looking face. And the other side, she has more of a confident or like what Hermione would have in the movies and in the books and everything. Actually, you do have this extra piece here, which is hollow, which you actually just put right over top of her head. And there you go, you have Hermione in cat form after she drank the Polyjuice Potion. I'm gonna give you a close up of what the printing on that head looks like. You can turn around, you can see it still has some of her hair in the back, but she does have the ears and her entire face does look like a cat and just like the other minifigures you are able to take the cat head off and just put her normal hair piece back on and there you go you do have Hermione Granger back and last but not least we do have our final minifigure which is the exclusive Harry Potter golden 20th anniversary minifigure which you can only get in this set each of the different 20th anniversary sets does come with a different golden minifigure and this is the one that you do get in this set set you get Harry Potter which I think is super duper cool it comes with this gold minifigure stand base which is kind of like the ones that come in the CMF uh, collectible minifigure series um, it's the exact same thing it's just in a gold color the shorter legs are in a gold color as well and you can kind of see there is some front torso printing this is Harry in his normal Gryffindor sweater but you can see there is some gold effect kind of shimmering effect on there it does come with a gold wand the standard Harry Potter head just printed in gold and the back of the torso actually does say 20 years of Lego Harry Potter and it does kind of have that same shimmering effect it is is the exact same hair piece he does not have a double-sided head but it is the exact same hair piece as the other Harry Potter figure. It's just instead it is printed in gold. I really like these figures. I think they look absolutely amazing on display. I think it is awesome to just have these included with it because you get an amazing set plus a super awesome exclusive minifigure. And I definitely want to see if I can collect all of these. And like I showed on the back of the box, each of these 20th anniversary sets does include a certain amount of the chocolate frog um, collectible cards. These are just two by two smooth uh, purple tiles with some printing on them and in this set I was able to get Birdie Bot right here is kind of what that one looks like and I also was able to get Godric Gryffindor so I think these are a very cool collectible kind of piece and everything I could see how you could make your own stand and everything to put these on I just think this is an awesome idea for them to include I love collecting the chocolate frog cards in real life when I was at Universal and everything I just think they're super duper awesome you can kind of see how they're shiny and there's kind of like a glittery gold and silver effect on them which I think is super duper nice and yeah this is definitely another one of those things along with the golden figures that I really hope I'm able to get all of them. Okay and now we are going to move on to the actual build and the bathroom scene as a whole but before I show the actual bathroom you do get this little cauldron that does include a little spoon that kind of goes in it. It doesn't have anything in it but it is just kind of to set aside or you can put it inside or whatever. It is just on one of the two by two kind of round pieces that has one stud and so you are able to kind of make it seem like they are making the polyjuice potion in the bathroom and now taking a closer look at the inside of the actual bathroom i think this is a very nice build um i think all of these smaller sections of the hogwarts castle are going to be really nice builds just because you were able to connect them all to the bigger chamber of secrets 20th anniversary set that came out along with this so you can see it does have these little pieces here that it would connect to any of the other pieces and over here it does have the 
two kind of holes up top and on bottom that you would be able to connect any other of the components of it together. But I'll kind of show you the outside before I move to the inside. You can kind of see how it's built up. It has an archway here. And on the back, you can kind of see the window and some texturing for the outside wall of Hogwarts. You can see some more hollow windows and everything. And on this side, it's kind of some of the bathroom stall door along with another arch and everything. And same with the front, you have a little bit of decoration towards the top and on the sides as well. And the top does have the kind of smooth with a few studs going on. That way you were able to put a roof on it and take it off easily. That's just kind of how like the modular builds and everything are. You're able to remove stuff and put it back on easily. That's just kind of the technique that they use. And now taking a look at the floor of the bathroom, it's kind of got that pastel kind of darker sand blue as the floor, along with some gray kind of great pieces down here. Those are just the one by two pieces that, you know, you can find since the beginning of time with lego sets but starting from the left you can see there is actually a little bathroom stall with a door that is able to open and that actually doesn't hit and so you're able to open it all the way up and inside you can actually see a toilet that was actually very fun to build it is just this kind of little circular piece down in there and you actually have to build like the back of the toilet and the handle and the knob and everything and i just thought that was a very cool kind of build and let you guys see in there and like i said the door is able to close and you're able to put Hermione or somebody in there to kind of like it was in the scene where the kids came back and they found Hermione crying in the bathroom and when they opened it and there she was with her cat head and everything and now moving on to kind of the last portion of this set you can kind of see the row of three sinks here um, and actually these stickers here are really nice I was super those are the only three stickers that come in this set and I thought they were really, really amazing because you can kind of see where my light is shining off of those those are actually mirror stickers and I I did not think that those were going to be the legit shiny mirror stickers at all, which I think is super duper awesome. The last time I saw any of those stickers were in the Winnie the Pooh 100 Acre Woods house on the kind of stand up mirror that is in the inside of the house. That is the last time I've seen those and I love those mirror stickers so, so much. You can kind of see up here, you have some triangle pieces and some more angular pieces and studs and everything to kind of give it that clean and like kind of really like fancy look that Hogwarts has, especially the bathrooms. You can kind of see some pillars and stuff that were built up. You got the gold faucets that go into the kind of hollow sinks. There's actually a play feature in this little section here that goes with the Chamber of Secrets Hogwarts set, the $129 Hogwarts set that just came out. If this sits on top of the Chamber of Secrets set, you're actually able to lift this middle sink up just like it did in the film where Harry opened up the Chamber of Secrets. And actually you can kind of see there is a hollow hole my finger is able to go through that and so you would be able to take one of your minifigures we'll say harry and you are able to kind of slide them through of course you would want to take all the accessories so i don't think he's gonna be able to slide through exactly but you kind of get the uh, point he's able to slide through and slide down into the chamber of secrets which i think is a very very cool feature i was not expecting that to be in this build at all but i think it is super duper nice okay and that just about wraps up my review of the hogwarts polyjuice potion mistake with 217 pieces and 20 I think this is a perfect buy. I mean, you get three regular minifigures with one golden figure, but technically I'd say you get six regular minifigures since you're able to switch the heads around and you even get extra hair pieces and everything. I would say you technically do get six minifigures along with the golden minifigure. I think it is just definitely worth the price. I think this set just looks absolutely amazing. And if you pick up the other Chamber of Secrets Hogwarts set, this is just an addition that you can add onto it and you could build your whole Hogwarts castle, which I think would look absolutely amazing. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and comment if you have picked up any of these 20 year anniversary sets. If you have, let me know what you think of them. And if you haven't picked any of them up, comment down below if you think that you are going to pick any, any of them up. I think this is an amazing line for Lego Harry Potter. I absolutely love all these sets. There's definitely a lot more than I'm going to be picking up. I only have two at the moment, but I can definitely think of a few others that I'm going to pick up eventually. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell. So that way you never miss another upload or weekly live stream. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.